No, bitch. I want a sugar cube. A few of you little termites asked me to do a reaction to My Strange Addiction. And, um, it's your lucky day. Because I'm going to do a reaction to My Strange Addiction. Enough horsing around! We're going to be watching a woman who likes pony play. She likes to pretend she's a pony. But not like the, uh, not like the furry kind. More... I don't know, actually. I don't think it has a label. Decide for yourself, because I'm not deciding. Don't know if you can see that back there. You can, can't you? Yeah, I've got a football goal in my bedroom and shit. Now! I put, I, uh, put that in there because I can do what I want. <laughs> so I did. Anyway, let's watch the video. My name is Nicole, I'm 31 years old, and I'm addicted to pony play. Oh, she looks normal. Okay. Guys, is that a fully grown woman disguised as a horse being led round by a fully grown man, or doth my eyes deceive me? That's almost an indis- <laughs> That is almost indistinguishable. How, does, how do people say that word all the time? Is this indistinguishable? This is almost indistinguishable from a real horse. She's done a really good job, is what I'm trying to say. Good party. You know you don't, uh, <laughs> this just isn't, this just isn't something that has to be part of your life. You're being led around, uh, at a quick trot by choice. You don't have to do that. You leave that, you can leave that to actual horses. <laughs> She's putting in a full shift for no reason. Why are you doing that? And now I've just, I've just paused the video as the scene changed to her being embraced by this man. So I don't, to be honest, I'd quite like to leave this video here, but I'm going to carry on. Oh, that's it. Yes. <laughs> I have a feeling this is like a sex thing. This isn't just like a like a little hobby, like a cute little hobby. It's not. There's nothing cute about this. Yeah, I think this is a sex thing. He's got a whip in his armpit, guys. He's got a fucking whip in his armpit. I feel like you could pretend to be a horse without getting whipped as well. You don't have to go all the way. You're only going all the way if this is a sex thing. <laughs> Pony play is a form of costumed role play. You become an animal mentally. No offense, she's not even a good one. You're not even a good one, okay? This is really weird and you're not even a good horse. They don't do that, I know, because I've seen a horse, by the way. Loads of them. Not to brag. Okay. <laughs> they don't do this, do they? They don't just do that. Yeah? I'm not going to show you what they do do because... <laughs> I just said do do. I don't even care. I'm going to stop saying what I was saying because that's really funny. Where would you go? Drafter is my pony play character. <laughs> Drafter is a very hardworking horse. He enjoys praise and treats. Bing. <laughs> oh, this isn't real. This can't be real. Look how he's got her head like that, feeding her celery. Oh, this is so something. Oh my god. And you can't, you can't just decide what your horse is like, can you? Well, I guess you can. This isn't, this isn't like a normal thing, but she's just decided that her horse persona is like a really hardworking horse. Oh, this is just, I think this is just actually unacceptable. I think that's what this is. Being a pony is amazing. Probably the biggest source of happiness in my life. It is definitely odd to see my daughter dressed up as a horse. A person wants to dress up like an animal, that is weird. Could you imagine driving past that farm and you're looking into the horse pen and you see fucking Nicole <laughs> dressed up, not even like, I'm gonna be honest, not even like a horse. I don't know what she is. Just there doing that with the horse. Oh, that's really gross. Could you not just leave the, ho the other horses out of it? If you wanna do it, fine. Do it behind closed doors or underground, preferably. But don't bring the other horses into it. What the fuck? Nice point. Grooming is definitely one of my favorite things to have done. When you're done with grooming, teaching different things. There's, there's, there's no way they've hooked her up to a fucking carriage. There's no way she's just been hooked up to a carriage after a fresh groom. Nothing better than a fresh groom, by the way, as a fully grown human. Nothing better. <laughs> oh my God. This is really uncomfortable. So pulling a cart is a labor of love. Carting is definitely my favorite. Good girl. This is actually insane. I, I can't get over it. That's it. I just can't get over it. Also, why does she look like this all the time? I don't, even know if I, can, I don't even know if I can replicate it, but she's always just stood like, like a horse. 
I don't, <laughs> I don't even know. It's like... Pony play... Pulling a cart is definitely my favourite part of pony play. Come on, girl. Okay. Who are these people enabling this lifestyle, by the way? Who's this person on the back of the cart? You've got to stop. She's also dressed up as well, by the way. So it's not even like this woman's like, oh, this is weird, but at least she's not committing any crimes. I'm just going to sit on... I'm just going to let her pull me around on a cart so she doesn't do anything bad. She's getting into the role as well. She's put a suit on and sunglasses. I'm sorry, she spent thousands to make her suit authentic. Who's going to tell her? She looks like a skunk when she's dressed up, more than a horse. Also, look at this, by the way. She's coming in this place ready for a fight. Why's she got her fist balled up? Why's she got the smallest arms on earth as well? Should I say, is that the correct terminology? Or is it a uh, leg? I don't know. Look how fed up she is. Been through this way too much. Oh, just coming on and trying on that shit. Do you mind just putting a saddle on my back and sitting on it? I need to know what the weight feels like. What can I help you find today? Looking for a long shank, mullen mouth style western bit. Of course you were. I was also looking for a long style, lank, lamb shank, western style clit as well. Horse's mouth, do you know? About this size. <laughs> look how, look how uncomfortable she is about, uh, do you see how smug she was to say, uh, mouth is about this size. Oh, I don't know. The mouth is about this size. You may recognize me from the fields. You know that certain stallion wandering around in the fields, running around, galloping even? You're looking at her. I'm doing uh, something called pony play and I'm looking for a authentic prop that will be play with quality. I'm gonna look for a mullen mouth per bit that is gonna fit you. That doesn't bother me. This is who I am. I'm not changing for anyone. Okay, fuck off. Fuck off. You can you can be led around, I don't know where they keep horses, a field, all you want. But the second you're rolling around in hay, that is too far. You can't just cut the scene to her rolling around in, in hay like that. Just like this. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready to trot now. I fancy a, a, a small canter. I could not imagine life without pony play in it. I love my addiction to pony play more than flies love crap. <laughs> What did she say? What? Something loves crab and then put stuck her tongue out? Why'd you do that, huh? That's also gross. Pony play allows me to indulge in the pretend play that all of us came to know and love as a child. It's kind of taboo as an adult. I don't think even as a child people went to that extent, though. They might have, like, walked around on all fours saying they're a pony, but they didn't have... What's that called? The thing in the mouth, what's that called? I don't know, but it shouldn't be in her mouth. That's what I'm saying. I wonder if she shits all over the roads and pavement as well and doesn't clean it up. I wonder if she does that. This fucker just walks everywhere like that. <laughs> she does. Can you not just walk there as a human and then snap into character? How long did it take you to get there? Because there's no way she got in a car because that would be unauthentic. So. Wow. When Nicole came around the corner, I was thinking, holy cow. This is a horse, not a cow. Could you imagine being like a family barbecue and this little biscuit turns up like that? <laughs> You'd have to just chuck a hay bale out there for her. She'll just be busy for hours, just hours rolling around in that. I thought it looked pretty ridiculous. You know, I'm into role play. This is just the next step in the evolution for me. Wow. I just wanted you to be aware that this is kind of what I do and it's part of my life. It's like looking at the Joker. And I wear a bit as well that are designed for horses. Oh. <laughs> I probably will need your help a little bit getting this on. I'm gonna have to move your mane. This looks painful. <laughs> like this. There's also a trot. Where the hell's Nicole gone? Where the hell's Nicole gone? All I see is a, a horse doing a Spanish gate or something. And just like that, she got me. She's good. A big banner or flag that I can fly. Yeah, I'm not a, a drone that came out of a cookie cutter. Go me. I know you beat to your own drum, so do what you do. <laughs> is, it, is it weird that I kind of want to ride her just once, see what it's like? Just a little bit, just a little bit. Not in a weird way, all right? I could not imagine life without pony play in it. It's pure joy. I might have to try this. I still have some concerns about pony play. 
So you're telling me you had a realistic mask this whole time that you could have worn, but instead you... <laughs> I don't know what else that fucking was. But you were dressed as whatever that was. I don't know. Looked like a fucking... I don't know. But you had a... You could have worn a real mask. And then you don't have to put that thing in your mouth as well. The best for Nicole. I'm not sure that this is it. I worry that this oh, that was Nicole. Come back. That was Nicole again. Good fucking hell. She's good. She's really good. I thought that was just a horse. <laughs> and haunt you. I just want you to look at the whole picture. And I wonder if you might think about speaking with a the therapist. So what brings you here? I engage in an activity called pony play. And so I would dress up like a horse. Mm -hmm. My bridle. Uh, this is the pulling harness. Mm -hmm. Well, she came to talk business. Yeah, so I engage in pony play. Yeah, here I have a suitcase full of my equipment. That's real fucking genuine leather, by the way. Really fucking heavy. There you go. Look at that. Stainless steel bit that goes straight in the mouth. Not, I'm not fucking playing around. You might think it's a kink, but it's not. Because I say it's not. Because my horse technically doesn't have genitalia. Because I didn't put it on the costume yet. I think she should put a massive, massive dick and balls on the costume. Like that. You know what dick and balls looks like, just like that. But the passion that I have for pony play is not diminished. There's no way I would ever give up pony play. Well, there we go. I say leave her to it. Give her a barrel of hay. She's not harming anybody. But don't leave her in the pens with the horses for too long uh, because you just don't know what's going to happen. I don't know, man. You might end up with a hybrid popping out nine months down the line. That's, I think that's actually one of the weirdest, strangest addictions I've seen. Well, thank you for the suggestion. I'm glad I watched that. It hasn't creeped me out at all and I feel great. So thanks. Thanks for watching the video. I'm gonna go and try out pony play for a little bit now and see if it suits my character. I'll let you know. See you later.